Hi, it's Pastor Paul Anderson from the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. If I haven't said it to you yet, I want to say Happy New Year to you. Welcome. It is so great to have all of us starting out this new year together. On yesterday, we had a very powerful time of worship. As you know, during this pandemic, we've been doing drive-in worship services. This was the first Sunday we decided because of the weather that we're having, it's now cooler outside and a little bit wetter, uh, we decided to stream it live. Um, from the sanctuary. But in that, we uh, made sure we followed the protocols. We had uh, a very few people here, just enough for us to make it happen. And we're so grateful. We want to say thank you all who tuned in and those of you who watch. We do hope and pray that you were blessed on this marvelous Monday. We're so excited what God has been doing. Uh, coincidentally, we find a text today, a very powerful passage that comes to us out of wisdom literature. This is a message that is written from a father to a son. It's the message that we find that David gives to his son Solomon. Coincidentally, today I'm wearing a tie, a tie that my youngest son Noah gave to me on his day of birth. And the tie says, I love my daddy. I'm so happy he loved me then and loves me now. Both of my sons do and I love them. And I can only imagine what David was trying to convey to his son Solomon when he wrote this passage. This passage, I think, has four basic elements I want to talk about today. Uh, there are so many more, but today there's just a few nuggets of truth I want to leave with you. The first one is that he tells him, never forget. It is always important for a son to remember the words of his father because he's sharing them with him because it's a part of not only the family legacy, but it's important nuggets that he will have for life. Secondly, he says, store my commandments in your heart. It's always important to have things in your head, but if it's in your heart, you can't help but act from the right perspective. And I'm so happy he says that. Thirdly, he says, you will have long life and your life will be long, but you will also have a satisfying long life. Some people live a long life, but they're miserable and they make everyone around them miserable as well. But he says, you're going to have a long life and it'll be a satisfying life. And then lastly, he says, um, wear loyalty and kindness. Make them to be tied around your neck. He used this from the perspective of how they used to harness animals when they would find themselves plowing in the fields. He said, let them be your guide, loyalty and kindness. My brothers and my sisters, I do hope and pray that you can find loyalty and kindness to be the harness to make sure that you and I are always focused on doing what God has called us to do. On this marvelous Monday, we say God's blessings be upon you. Happy New Year to you. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.